What's up everybody? It's Clay here from Varus Engineering. As you can tell, we are here at Putnam Park Road Course once again. Um, we have our good friends Jackie and Alex out from PhD Racing to do a little bit of aero testing today. Um, so basically, we have our whole Ventus kit here on their uh, GT3. Um, Jackie went out, set a benchmark time. Jackie, what time did you run? 14.8? 13.8. 13.8, I was a second off, way off. Um, so basically what we're doing now, um, we pulled off our rear wing, our UCW rear wing kit. We're going to put the factory wing back on um, and then we're going to have Jackie go back out and see what kind of time differences um, he can get with just, just going back to the factory rear wing. Now after he comes back in we have some time, um, we will be pulling off the front splitter as well. Um, so then it'll be, for, it'll be factory um, and factory in the rear, but yeah, let's see what's going to happen. Um, Jackie's back in um, with the OEM rear wing in our front arrow. He went a second and a half slower. And as you can tell by this video I'm about to put, he did get a little bit loose a couple times. Um, but now as you can see what we're doing, we're getting the car up in the air so we can take that front splitter off. We did go ahead and take off the dive planes. We figured we might as well go straight back to OE um, to see what an OE car can do along with our aero kit. All right, so testing's done for the day. Um, we'll kind of go over the results a little bit, go over the aim date a little bit, but here's what we found out. So with the full Varus Ventus kit on this GT3, um, Jackie ran a 113.88. When we took off our rear wing, put the factory rear wing on with our um, front arrow, Jackie went 15.35. Now when we went completely back to OEM, no wing, no splitter, no dive planes, he went 14.69 and he also picked up a couple miles per hour on the straight. That is to be expected without any aero. But what you can learn from this, aero makes you go faster. And we're off. It's going to be game on through turn one and turn two, ladies and gentlemen. Jackie with aero and Jackie without aero seem to be neck and neck coming into high speed turn one. As they exit turn one and head for turn two, Jackie without aero seems to have a slight lead. But we'll see how long that lasts. Not very long at all as Jackie with arrow takes the lead in turn three. Coming into the first left-hand turn, Jackie without arrow is right on the tail of Jackie with arrow. Heading through a small straight to turn five and turn six, Jackie with arrow is starting to pull away with it. As they arrive to turn seven and slam on their brakes for the hardest braking turn on the track, Jackie with arrow seems to be exiting the corner much faster. Must be all that arrow he's sporting. Coming into turn 8, also known as Dead Bear Turn, it's much the same story as Jackie with Arrow is exiting the turn much quicker than Jackie without Arrow. Now entering the last two corners on the track, Jackie with Arrow is opening up that lead even more. Entering turn 10, Jackie with Arrow seems to have this one in the bag, ladies and gentlemen. Great race, fellas. Thanks for watching, and make sure to smash that like and subscribe button.